My work is in optics, but maybe less conventional in the sense that we work in creating optical devices at a wavelength scale. By playing games with geometry, we create new types of optical materials. And once one starts to have these new tools, you can explore all of these new ideas for how to manipulate light. And I think that, you know, really your imagination is the only thing that limits you in this regard. The California Institute of Technology in Pasadena. Research base of physicist Oscar Painter. Painter is a pioneer in the development of optical nanosystems, focusing on the investigation of the quantum mechanical properties of solid state structures and their interaction with light. Together with his team, he uses the negligibly low radiation pressure of light to transpose custom etched silicon chips into a resonant state. So at present, we are very interested in a variety of applications that result from the radiation pressure of light. So light itself carries not just energy, but momentum. And this momentum uh, in our everyday experience is tiny. But if you were to cage this light into very, very small volumes, then these pressures can become quite enormous. And we have been exploring this physics both for the interesting physical applications, but also for applications to precision sensors. What is special about the Painter Lab is that they don't only investigate nanostructures, they actually produce them. The basic material is silicon chips, which undergo a special etching process. Tiny strips of silicon, just a few millionth of a meter in length, are etched on the chips. First of all, they are controlled under an electron microscope. In the minuscule perforations on the nanostrip, photons can be captured, causing the mechanical structure to oscillate. So the resonator is this structure that is scaled down to the wavelength of light, and the light bounces back and forth inside of this resonator many, many times, and has these very large electric field strengths, which gives you all of the sort of interesting magic and physics that we like to study. The radiation pressure of the light particles allows the resonators to be moved, as with optical tweezers. Where the perforations are then made in the strip determines where the 3 gigahertz resonance frequency is propagated. And this is the point at which electron currents occur. An optomechanical circuit is created that would lend itself to data transport in quantum computers. The resonance effect can best be examined when the structures have been cooled down to absolute zero. Here, the physicists are investigating a resonance structure composed of two perforated nanostrips. Using the pressure of light, they can target and change the frequency behavior of the zip-locking strips, ideally to develop them into precision sensors for measuring acceleration and rotation in cars or mobile phones. German companies in particular are at the forefront of technical applications for light sensors, according to Painter. We have two tiny little nanoscale beams uh, which we can send light down and we put them very close to each other and the quantum motion we study is the breathing, the differential mode of these beams. Since you have a mechanical cage in effect, as this mechanical system moves, then the light inside there changes its frequency and it's very, very sensitive and you can actually read out that change in frequency of the light. And that's how we use this to make these various types of sensors. One type of sensor being the uh, accelerometer that we've been uh, developing. And these accelerometers allow us to measure accelerations that are one billionth of the uh, gravitational acceleration in one second. For his achievements in the field of optical nanosystems, Painter was awarded an Alexander von Humboldt professorship in 2013. In Erlangen, Nürnberg, where the physicist will conduct his research, his arrival is eagerly awaited. 
The University of Erlangen-Nürnberg will benefit from the presence of Oscar Painter in many ways. First of all, in research, of course, because he ideally amalgamates the linkages between the engineering sciences, fundamental physical sciences, material sciences, and the Max Planck Institute for the Physics of Light. And together with his group in Pasadena, he can now transfer this knowledge in the various areas in which he is a world leader to Erlangen. For me, you know, sports has always been a great uh, balance versus science. Okay, ready? So which way? One here, one there, one there? Okay, ready? If you're playing baseball, there's a number of different pitches. So uh, this is what my son and I would do when I was teaching him, is he was very interested in why the ball would curve down in certain instances and curve away. And when you throw a fastball, the ball spins in a specific way. And hitting the ball is a totally other you know, set of skills. Hitting a 100 mile per hour fastball is sort of the same thing as being able to, you know, in terms of level of difficulty is maybe similar to trying to perfect these tiny cages for light at these very small scales. Oscar Painter has already perfected the capture of light in mechanical nanostructures. For him, basic research is the way towards his actual goal, technical applications. He hopes the Humboldt professorship will allow him to realize his dream of launching his own spin-off for light-controlled sensors. To really develop these technologies, to really explore new physics, you have to be able to do this for five or ten years. And so I think being able to have a long-term vision, along with the ability to start new projects quickly, is something that I will be able to do in airline and better than any place I can imagine. And so I'm extremely excited about that opportunity. By utilizing these new tools, we can explore completely new regimes in which light behaves. And so for me, this is a sort of a never-ending exploration and is very, very fascinating.